the second epistle to the Thessalonians with a word of wisdom from our Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus, also known as Silas and Timothy, unto the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is me, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. And in the futurist sense, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, as Christ says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, meaning he that shall endure unto the end of the five-month-long hour of temptation that begins at the woe of the fifth trumpet when Satan and his angels get cast to earth, which is when the one-world political system written of in Revelation 13 comes into being, which then gets wounded to death, after which Satan appears as the Antichrist at the woe of the sixth trumpet, and then two and a half months later at the woe of the seventh trumpet the true Christ returns and the first resurrection occurs, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And immediately after the five-month-long hour of temptation, the great tribulation will begin, which is the thousand years, the great day of his wrath, as it's called in the last verse of Revelation chapter 6. Six, and as we know from Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8, one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. And it's during that time those who failed to take part in the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet will have the opportunity to absorb the discipline Christ will teach through the millennial priesthood, being then able to stand against Satan after the thousand years are finished and take part in the second resurrection, then being able to go into the eternity, which is the third world age. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, meaning the armies which were in heaven written of in Revelation chapter 19 verse 14, which is made up of those of the Zadok who have lived and died throughout the centuries, who will then become part of the millennial priesthood that will come into being at that time. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The thousand-year-long great tribulation being also called the day of vengeance who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. If they refuse to absorb the discipline Christ will teach through the millennial priesthood and follow Satan again after the thousand years are finished, they'll be blotted out of existence in the lake of fire. When he, meaning the true Christ, shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day, the saints being God's elect, who are the Zadok, as well as the 144,000, in other words, those who are predestined to take part in the first resurrection when the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet, and whosoever will choose to believe upon the true Christ because of what the Holy Spirit will say through God's elect, as well as those with free will who will get delivered up also during the latter half of the five-month-long hour of temptation, will also take part in the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet trumpet and become part of the millennial priesthood. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ.